Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, we're just going to be going over a post that was made on the Lodestone after the servers went down for patch 6.21. I did also go over the patch 6.21 patch notes, so if you haven't seen that video, be sure to go check it out for my thoughts on the craziness that actually transpired in those patch notes. However, this post is in regards to something that hadn't even occurred to me, even though I had actually witnessed it without realizing it, regarding illegitimate waymarks in Abyssos the Seventh Circle Savage. So, there's a strategy going around for the Seventh Circle Savage called Sleepo. Basically, it is a strategy for a mechanic about 60% into the fight, where you can put five different markers, or you can have five different positions for four spread markers and a split damage marker, and you can just alternate between two of those, and you can go. And it's super easy. It makes the mechanic nice and cozy. However, those spots to place those markers don't exist on the arena until either A, mid-fight, where you can't place them, or after you've cleared the fight, and then you can place them on the ground. Uh, that being said, I actually don't remember what the shape of the arena is after you beat it. Does it go back to normal? I don't remember, actually. Either way, that's like normally what you have. That's when the arena changes, you normally have that ability. But apparently, somebody was using a third-party tool to put the markers down in the exact spot before the arena had actually transformed. Now, this should not be a surprise to anyone who has kept up with Final Fantasy XIV's endgame scene. These types of things have been around, have been used, and this is really the first time it feels like the dev team have gone out of their way to specifically identify it. But this normally comes with some ups and some downs. So let's see. First, they go over the waymark system. They talk about how it works. You put a waymarker down, and they explain that it requires contact with the ground. However, in the case of duties where the battle area changes, players are permitted to place waymarkers for the changed battlefield after completing the duty. As such, waymark placements loaded from safe slots are not validated by whether or not they are in contact with the ground. Makes perfect sense. I mean, we've seen that with other encounters. I've seen people do it legitimately like that. However, in this particular case, a player used third-party tools to do it illegitimately at specific coordinates without doing it this way. What this does is it apparently causes data validation issues, and it's just, and it's registered in the game data as illegitimate. So they actually found the player who did this the first time, the very first player who did this and circulated the way markers, and they they uh, they issued an account penalty, which is insane. I guess it's actually a kind of interesting insight into how the game registers data when you do things that are not intended to be done. And I kind of like hearing about those things because I find it very, very interesting. That being said, they also know that that player essentially created these way markers and then circulated them because they say once they're saved and then somebody else saves them and then they use it, then somebody else saves it over and over. They're essentially, it created this almost irreversible web of people who had these same illegitimate uh, markers and I have seen these markers used and I didn't even think for a second that that was what had happened because they were just placed They're like oh I have these saved bam go and I was like great I didn't even think about it like that so uh interesting <laughs> although somebody had brought it up I think on stream the other day that this had to have been how people were doing it and I was like couldn't you do it is this and then I thought about it, I was like oh yeah no actually you're right that probably is how it has to be done uh oh and then here you go so, uh, all weight markers placed outside the battle area at the start of the battle contain illegitimate coordinate data. All of them do. Uh, now, for future implementations, this is... So, th the downside is, essentially, that this is not something that's possible. The only way to achieve this is to use a third-party tool. And it sounds like something that would be incredibly useful to be able to do. To be able to put any marker for any strategy in any spot before a fight begins and not after you've cleared it, especially when we're a couple, uh, couple of weeks into the actual tier. And as such, the player sacrifice was made and we have some information here at the end that maybe are leaning towards a brighter future. As the illegitimate waymark data is already in circulation and has provided an unfair advantage to players who have saved the data and with consideration to existing player strategies, we have decided to allow all players to place similar waymarkers in Abyssos the Seventh Circle Savage without relying on illicit means. Specifically, certain fields will be made slightly larger to allow the placement of the waymarks at the same coordinates through legitimate means. This clearly seems to indicate that not only do they accept it's an issue here and that they can resolve it here legitimately, 
but this is hopefully something they consider in the future when they are designing boss arenas. There's no downside to the boss arena at the start of P7S being large enough to do this and because it breaks almost immediately and then it can go back to what it is, you know, what we're used to when we experience it. Uh, and they can do that in future fights. If they want to do weird things with the arena, they now have to take this into consideration because they know players will do this and that they can provide a legitimate means that isn't required. So I like that this was the end result they landed on, that they said we can make an adjustment so you can absolutely keep the exact same strat. You just have to replace the markers and do it legitimately. However, they do ask that anybody who already has those illegitimate uh, one saved, uh, do not save, do not load them, uh, and delete any such way markers that you have saved prior to this point. They're trying to eliminate the amount of illegitimate data out there because it will become tough to tell whose is still left over from before and whose is now using this new system. But they can actually tell the, di I, I think they can tell the difference now because the old ones, even with the enhanced arena, will contain the illegitimate data. So they're just trying to take it out of circulation, I suppose, so they don't constantly have these illegitimate data uh, messages being sent to the server. Uh, we apologize that this was not implemented immediately as setup and testing for this will not be completed in time for patch 6.21. We'll share an update when the implementation schedule has been finalized. So in other words, in 6.21, we will have some issues with doing sleepo strat because the only way people can place the markers is illegitimately something they don't want people doing. However, it will be changed in the near future, so please keep an eye out for it. I do wonder how many people will even read this, how many people will even care, will people still try to do sleepo, will people just eyeball it, which I think is somewhat reasonable to do given how uh, cozy the strategy is. I actually don't think it's that hard to eyeball it, but it might make Party Finder a little bit tougher for a short period of time. So we'll keep you updated on what they're doing with this, but there you go, another add-on leading to a quality of life change. It's uh, it's interesting because as much as I'm not a big add-on guy, I don't like them. I, I don't personally look to them to change my gameplay experience or enhance it. It's just not something I need. It's impossible to deny that the people who break the rules have also been causing significant change in Final Fantasy XIV's landscape that has been positive. So it's it's just such a weird circumstance, but it, here it is again. It's not the first time. It's probably not the last time. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you think in the comment section of the video below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care.